sometimes Louis says hi. Hey, Louis. But you don't get no hurries and don't have no worries because we're drunk talking nationwide. Everybody now. There was this weather woman. Uh, what's up, everybody? Good morning. <laughs> you guys crack me up. Who's that that said I like to go in the garden and look like a carrot? What's that all about? <laughs> all right. All right, let me close this out. I was uh, chewing on the official conehead candy, coneheads. <laughs> it's that time of the year. And look, do you ever get excited when you get one of these little guys? The pumpkin, like the secret treasure of candy corns, man. It's kick ass. Um, so there we go. All right, Monday morning. What's going on here? Here's a cool little graphic I saw. I figured I'd, I'd put it up. Uh, we say hello. This is the official handy uh, hand, Halloween candy for every state. I don't know if it's accurate or not, but maybe it's true wherever you live. This is supposed to be the the most favorite candy. <laughs> Tennessee's like like Tennessee's the oddball. They got red hots. <laughs> then you got Swedish fish, just to the north. <laughs> Crazy. So I right, say, so, hey, hope everybody had a great weekend. You know, we're a bunch of coneheads. That's our new name. Uh, you guys named yourselves the Coneheads because we're back in the cone again. No cone to worry about, at least for um, the Caribbean or United States. Of course, uh, we're watching Lorenzo. We're going to show you that. We're going to show you what's cooking maybe in the tropics. Nothing official to worry about right now. Uh, big thanks. Obviously goes out to all you guys. Of course, ABC Fine Wine and Spirits. They are our Facebook Live sponsor. I even have it on a post-it note because I forget, I used to forget to say it. So there you go. <laughs> it's my little note to thank them because they supply me with all my late night shenanigans <laughs> so anyway all right so again I'm, I'm mike i'm your host i am not official by any means um i am your flight attendant <laughs> all right so yeah no twix all right so i'll try to talk tropics for about 15 minutes and then we'll say hello and chit chat and i'll try to read all the comments um what's up patricia hey what's up uh christian happy birthday no birthday for me in october it's coming up. What's up, Bobby? Yep. What's up, Reese? Oh, Ryan Reese. <laughs> all right, so here's a look at uh, Lorenzo. Massive hurricane. Broke all kinds of records over the weekend. Um, reached 160 miles an hour. Uh, strongest hurricane to ever get that strong uh, that far east in the Atlantic. So that was pretty, pretty, uh, pretty incredible. Um, farthest east ever for a hurricane of that size. What's that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Means the Atlantic, Atlantic was hot. I don't know, but not sure. 
records are meant to be broken, that's for sure. But again, 160, I think it was crazy. So anyway, so we got tropical uh, impacts here, obviously, as this thing goes north. Um, let me turn off my ringer here. We have friends in the Azores, uh, or or as, as we do every week, I screw something up. Um, I don't know how to say it. Is it Azor, Azores with an E? Because <laughs> it's like hooked on phonics with Mike every every time we do one of these things. Because I always screw either up either the name up like Umberto or Imelda, Dorian. These are all words I had to learn. So now I need I need to learn Azores. Is, is it Azores? Azores? <laughs> um. So let me know. So yes, definitely hurricane watches. These will become warnings as uh, time marches on, probably maybe 11 o'clock advisory. Definitely uh, Western Azores. Azores. No emphasis on the E. Azores. Azores. Is that right? Azores? Snore. Azores. Azor. Azor. <laughs> Azores. There you go. Hey, I love you guys. Thank you, Arthur. Azores. 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 <laughs> so anyway, hurricane watches are up. They're going to definitely get warnings uh, later today. Um, Ireland folks are watching. And uh, interesting enough, they likely will get uh, some sort of impacts here into uh, Friday. So we'll watch some of that. We'll uh, put the spaghetti models on here real quick. Here's the current thinking on spaghetti models. A little bit to the west of the Azores. Azores. Ah, not a. Uh, Azores. Man, I'm getting it all figured out now. A. A. It's a Canadian. <laughs> Azores. I learn something new every season. Azores. Hey, I love it. Sandy, you're, you're awesome. My kids are in school right now learning. Learning, so am I. <laughs> I'm eating candy. They're not. I'm eating their candy. All right. So the Azores. Azores. Hey, it's now, now it's like so easy, right? Azores. Man, I'm brilliant. <laughs> so we all learn something new every day. All right. So your spaghetti models are uh, bending a little bit to the north. This uh, Lorenzo should be weakening, uh, but we're going to see a little curve back towards Ireland and the UK. So that's something to watch for. Here's... um. Let's take a look real quick because we got friends. That's we're going to talk about all this stuff. All this stuff. All right. So, all right. So here's one graphic. I saw this on Twitter, but look, hundred foot wave heights. S'mores. I like that, Janet. We'll be in Talladega next week. Can you believe it? I can't. I can't believe it. We're leaving to go to Talladega. But there's a hundred foot seas uh, nearing the Azores. Uh, that's pretty massive. So there you go. Hundred. That's a cool map. Here's another wave watch model showing uh, where the waves are going to go as we get towards um, Ireland. So they're definitely going to get uh, some pretty big, pretty big waves up that way. Kind of hard to see here, but these are the wave impact. Um, Forty-five foot still up this this part. So Ireland, the UK is going to get a lot of weather from this regardless. Here's what we're going to be talking about in a minute. Let me go to all these little links here real quick. And then we'll talk about local stuff. So real quick, let me show you what the uh, what could be cooking for, for Ireland real quick. And then we'll talk about local stuff. So All right, so we're North Atlantic. Let's go North Atlantic. And we'll look at winds. So where is where are you winds? Now we kind of look at this one. These are really aren't these aren't really surface winds, but it gives you an idea. All right, so here comes here comes Lorenzo passing by the Azores Tuesday night and Wednesday. And then nearing Ireland, it's going to possibly be a double whammy where you might get a widening system and get hit maybe with some big winds here. This is Thursday. And then our system goes to the north and then it cuts back across. So we, we could see a curve and then a back boom. 
and the GFS really showing that possibility here um, as we get into time. Let me rewind. Here we go. So this is, you know, again, this is the GFS. First, a little whammy going into Thursday, and then it kind of curves back through uh, Ireland there. So def definitely chances for A, big winds, uh, hurricane gusts possible, and big waves coming toward the end of the week for Ireland. So, and big, big waves. 40, 50 foot by the time Lorenzo gets up that way. So kind of kind of rare to get uh, storms that far in the northeast Atlantic. All right, so what else is cooking? We have tropical juice possibly here. Let's look at the water vapor loop. All right, so this whole Caribbean area, Western Caribbean area is very juicy right now. And we have Pacific action. We have models hinting that we could have a low pressure area coming here the latest european ensemble map is here this kind of blends all your different european ensembles together so i talked a lot about it saturday and sunday this is an area to watch there's nothing official from the nhc there's nothing to um to worry about as my nose itches i'm not picking my nose i'm itching my nose <laughs> i do pick my nose when nobody's watching we all do, right? No warm beer, Laura Lee. <laughs> I hate warm beer. What's up, Rebecca? Yeah, we're all coneheads on Monday morning. Yes, Johnny, long ways away. We're not going to talk about that too far out. Um, but this is the Euro. This is the Euro pr pr predict probab probability map. And it's inching higher and higher with color. So this is the area to watch. Now, if we look at a couple things, the future surface map here from the NHC showing... Possible low pressure tied to a wave here. So, again, nothing to worry about. This is during this week. Um, generally speaking, we could have a little area right here to watch. This is the latest 48-hour surface chart. So this is Wednesday from the NHC right there. Um, some of your models. Let's take a look at the individual model maps here on Tropical Tidbits. Right here, this is um, rewinding. This is tropicaltidbits.com. This is Lorenzo. Here's leftover Karen. Karen's actually still, believe it or not, hanging on as a low pressure. You can see it with some of the maps we'll look at. Um, but here's here's low pressure. This is Tuesday, Wednesday, right here. This is what we've been showing. We'll see. Nothing to worry about. But could be a spot to watch. And as it drifts northwest into the Gulf, very weak signature. Right here, you can kind of see it. Um, just pointing it out. People are going to start talking about it. It's, you know, Euro's not showing any organization. This is over through the weekend. This is, you know, this is Wednesday this week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So, you know, possibility. The Canadian model's showing a little stronger signature right here. The Canadian's been pretty aggressive with this to um, showing, showing our low pressure. You know, here again, here's Wednesday, low pressure. Here's Karen. All this energy is pretty much going to, Try to do maybe a little something, something, and, uh, you know, be weak, low pressure going up into the Gulf next weekend, this weekend coming up. So, that's that. Even the GFS has got a really weak signature here of low pressure. So, that's that's all we're doing. This is rewinding again. This is Wednesday this week, and general motion northwest into the Gulf over the weekend. So, no models are really showing much, much as far as... Um, development yet it is a time you know spot to watch this time of the year so anytime you get low pressure areas and i'm looking at um more golf ensembles here not you know this is the euro they're not showing much development um which is good i mean so that you know some of the euros showing maybe tropical storm Tropical depression, no hurricane yet. So that's good news. Another model we can look at would be your GFS ensembles. That would be these guys right here. We can look at overnight uh, blend of multi. Let's see right here. So there you go. So this one, yeah, this is interesting. This is, uh, I haven't looked at this one yet. This, this is a cool map because it takes a blend of your Navy ensembles, the Euro ensembles, and the GFS ensembles and puts them all together and what you got you do the hokey pokey <laughs> throw yourself around 
uh, and there's that spot. So you know, there's enough enough evidence to talk about it. This is within the next five days. So we'll see. Maybe we'll get a circle. Maybe we'll get a yellow circle at two o'clock. Hcon. So your H wharf and Hcon only really show up when there's an actual low pressure uh, storm or invest. Right now there's no invest, so. We're just looking into the future, looking at what if. Nothing official to worry about. This is leftover Karen, still trying to get going again. But if it does, it more than likely will go off into the sea. Because we have a front coming down. There's a front coming. We always have showed this front coming down that was going to lift off whatever was left of Karen. But this little guy could end up and uh, go into the Gulf. Now, everybody's talking about long-term GFS. That would be right here. Of course, the long-term GFS way into the future past 10 days always spits out here's here's what the euro is showing 300 hours out i don't trust models past seven days this year in the past i showed 10 day models i used to believe in them but you know that's uh you know that's the year or gfs 384 hours so it'll it'll change always does there's last night's run there's last night's run wow 18z this is 384 hours out so take it with a grain of salt i mean this is a spot to watch i mean that's what they're doing they're, they're they, these models pump in uh climatology um and uh that's the spot to watch in october here's october map this is where we look this time of year Typically, the last hundred years or so, that's where all the tropical activity was for the month of October. And another another little spot, real quick, and then we'll see what you guys are saying. Here's a global hazard hazards map and showed it last Friday, but still showing the week October second to October eighth. That's a long way away. Still showing possible development in the main development region here. And if you do look at some of your long range models. Um, the euro, for example, kind of shows it a little little bit of uh, weak. Let's see here. Let's get a little easier graphics to look at. All right, so here here is uh, you know this this is what the long range model showing. Let me rewind it. This is Lorenzo. Here we go. We got a little wave coming off of Africa. This is the euro, and possibly possibly being a weak low pressure area uh, Wednesday, October 9th. This is next Wednesday. Um, trying to come across see that boom 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 boom, boom, boom. <laughs> gfs kind of showing it too so so you know take those with a grain of salt right now there's really not enough signature to worry about so and here's your precipitable water map this is always a cool map i was going to show this real quick i had this up what's up zelda um where was i 384 hours ago ryan i don't read <laughs> how many days ago was that that was like what 20 days ago 384 see 10 days is 240 so it's like 20 days from now uh hey chris you know i don't know that's a good question the models have been terrible um um don't know they, they keep trying to make them better sometimes if it ain't broke don't fix it i never thought i'd be looking at the cmc model but last year and this year the cmc model seems the most uh consistent I'm going to eat my candy corns. Official candy of uh, Coneheads. And I got my Conehead shirt on. So I got it in the mail. I put it on last night. I have a 24-hour rule with shirts. So technically, I've only wore it four hours so far. Because <laughs> I got it in the mail Saturday and I just opened it yesterday. So here's your precipital water map real quick. This is pretty cool. It shows you the amount of moisture in the air. This is the uh, current look at the Euro. We got all this juice down here in the Western Caribbean right now, and a little bit of juice left over from Karen. As we go forward in time, you can see the moisture try to wrap up a little bit. This is a midweek Wednesday, so it'll be juicy down there. You know, you can see a little spinach. See the spinach? A little bit of spinach coming up right there. You can see it. This is into the weekend, so you know the euro. This is one run of the euro, but you know, the, generally speaking, this is where we're watching. Definitely moisture down there. And that one little model map I showed, this one, where to go, this little guy, really shows it. So, anyway, what's up, Scotty Zerk? No Espanol. I couldn't hit, I couldn't figure it out. Um, 
<laughs> Payday. What's up, Greg? So, yeah. Speaking of candy. So, we're going to Talladega, right? And, um. So, my wife is in charge of making, like, drinks and fun stuff. So, we had a friend post this. This is called Cowboy Candy. Look at that. And then you got to allow cookies now. What's up with that? I don't want cookies. Um, Cowboy Candy <clears throat> is uh, pickled candied jalapenos. And you eat them with uh, cream cheese. So Cowboy Candy is, um, I don't know, you put some sort of uh, moonshine in it. <laughs> Ritz crackers. Uh, I think there's alcohol in it. Yeah, there's alcohol in it. <laughs> so anyway off on a tangy there but we're, we're making uh we're making our uh our Taldega playlist and there's there since we're there there's, there was my weekend there's emily she played softball there she is <laughs> what would a weekend be without softball right all right so there's that there's that i think i showed that that that, that. we'll just leave that up for now see what you guys are saying what's up robert um yep yeah, laura Karen was, uh, Karen's still showing up, believe it or not. Karen is still out there. It's a weak low pressure area. Um, here it is on the surface charts. There she is, L. L marks the spot of where Karen's at. Still a weak low pressure area. This is the way we're going to be watching during the week that's going to end up right here. But uh, Karen's still technically there. And we can see her on the windy map too. Windy map here. There's Lorenzo if you want to do a little Jimi Hendrix in the morning. There you go. We'll leave, we'll leave that up. That's like uh, your LP classic rock in the morning. Uh, you make that stuff, Catherine. Cool. Um, I do stream, Julio. I do. I do. And uh, let me see if I can show you what I've been concocting here. Um let me see, weather, weather, weather. What did I call this? Um, what did I call it? Let's see. I, I can't remember now. I did a... Hmm, hang on. Hang hang with me real quick. KB. Was it KB? KB8? There she goes. Okay. All right, so so here's the deal. In Talladega, we're doing a kissing booth, okay? that This is going to be a kissing booth for Louie. Louie last year got famous with Talladega. And I made a sign, a big sign. Let me go back here. KB, hold on. KB, was it KB2 maybe? Nope. Hang on. KB. Well, here, I can just do visual open. Hang on. Visual open. Because I made a cool sign for the Humane Society. Because um, we're going to give the, mo the money to KB7. There she is. Is that it right there? That might be it. Okay. All right, so here we go. Here's my... This is a big poster I had I made. All right, so so we're gonna have a kissing booth for Louie at the uh, Talladega, and I'm hoping that Fox or actually it's on NBC now. So NBC, I'm reaching out to NBC. You and I know NBC is gonna cover this because who can say no to a cool dog like Louie, and who can say no to Hurricane Relief? And the Humane Society has a, a web page devoted to all the animal rescues during hurricanes. So I made this nice poster here showing you. All the animals they rescued during uh, Florence and Michael last year, the wildfires. Uh, so there's that. A buddy of mine made an actual kissing booth for Louie. And uh, we're going to have some fun with that. So, yeah, I'll be streaming. Bottom line. Hey, yep, Tony, we got it. Azores. <laughs> there's your spinach, Gretchen. So we're going to have fun at Talladega. Last year we won uh, the Geico Award. And, yes, we get a little crazy about the frisbee game this year too i'm excited about frisbee beer where you knock the, the beer off with the frisbee frisbee uh frisbee thing so um so there's that let's uh uh susan yet yeah, well, i don't know i'll read what you said there um but there you go so nothing you know nothing really official to worry about unless you are in the azores and ireland Here's your tropical storm force wind map. This is your chances of uh, winds and definitely stretching northward. 
And unfortunately, the eastern or western Azores right here, let's see, these little guys right here. So this is the islands we're going to be worried about here in just tomorrow. Things start going downhill. So here's the Azores right here. I sound like a professional media allergist. Yeah, Brian, I will. Uh, but this, this unfortunately, th this part of the Azores are going to get hit um, probably directly. Uh, they are on the western edge of the islands. So this will be going downhill quick. And the wind speeds are estimated to be around 100 miles an hour, I believe. Let's take a look. Um, as we get closer to the landfall. 90 miles an hour so wind uh, wind gust 115 so could have been worse but 90 mile an hour expected winds uh 2 a.m on wednesday for lorenzo so there's that all right so there's that all right then we got uh, somebody asked about heat potential yes so here's the deal all right so anything as we saw with michael last year any any sort of system that tries to get going in, in the western caribbean has amazing heat potential to work with and uh, won't, you know, one area to, to you know, that you know, that's if you have a, you know, that's if you have an organ, organized system. So, you know, if this little low pressure gets spinning, yes, it has uh, a lot more heat potential to work with. That's the amount of hot water that goes below the surface of the sea, sea surface temperature. And that's basically deep hot water. Um, and uh, so, you know, one thing. The MJO forecast somebody asked about, that's your pulse that goes around the earth. Kind of a cool phenomenon. Very odd how it works, but it promotes um, the sinking air. Sinking air suppresses thunderstorms. Oranges and yellows. Green air is rising uh, air. Rising air helps promote thunderstorm activity. And uh, pretty much all the way through the end of the season, we got a positive to neutral state of the uh, MJO. So another forecast, the tool that promotes you know th thunderstorm activity and um, increased potential oh yeah, we can go back to the earth map here i wanted to show, show karen here so here's vaguely karen right here this south of bermuda so there's there's karen tied up into that little mess right here nothing nothing to worry about just brief mention of her still hanging on so so all right what's up yeah hey pam oh my god they're showing 100 foot waves possibly um let me see, I probably close all those maps out. Let me see. Click, 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 click. But yeah, the uh, the wave map is cr incredible. Well, I, I have a wave map on my site over here. We can look. So here's your wave map. We can go to animated wave models. This is one. Nope, not that one. Wave height maps. This one. And even even this map. I mean, one map I showed showed 100 foot seas possible. This one's showing um, 62 significant wave height 62 feet as it nears the azores right here so that's a crazy 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 um waves for sure all right so what else going on um now let's hope not laura I got my Talladega stuff here too. Look at this. So, like, I guess uh, Sugarland Shine is a sponsor of Talladega now. Look at that. Does that look good for Monday morning? Look at that. Yes, they even have their own Talladega moonshine. Look at that. <laughs> so, if you're in Talladega, come see me. I'll be look at right here. Look. All right. So, here's the map. I'll be in green, right here. Green, green, right here. Geico Green. Geico Green. Right there. Geico Green. We'll be in Geico Green 1101 come by and see us give you a koozie um so anyway all right flood hey my flood risk team melissa yeah let's show your site melissa yes so melissa so we got a link right here next to windy called my flood risk it's a cool 
tool, you click on it, and you have a bazillion um, tools now to look at your risks and all your data, all your potential flood losses, where you live, um, totally incredible. Um, what's my name? Okay, there you go. There's my name. <laughs> they got me now. So this will load up, but but definitely a great tool if you want to see how many you know feet you are above sea level, your flood risk, um, the amount of claims in your area, your current zone. I'm in an X. I'm an X-rated zone right now. So that means when you're an X, you run out in the streets naked. When is the storm coming? Uh, but there you go. I'm tip, I'm 10.2 foot above sea level. Here's all the claims in our county. Here's all our flooding events over the years. So incredible data showing you where you live. So this this is going to be big. Um, this even tells you history of hurricanes in your area. It's crazy. Um, all the storms in your area that have impacted um, within 75 miles of where I live. So we, I've had 60 hurricanes pass within 75 miles of our house in the last 100 years. There's my, that's like my credit score. <laughs> it's red. <laughs> uh, it's so cool. So take a look at that. That's on the website. My flood risk. Anyway, what's up, Fred? Um, yeah, Melissa, credible. I need to move. You're gonna die. No. <laughs> there's nowhere. There's nowhere safe to go. Even in Montana right now. Do you see that put picture I put put online? Montana is getting like an, the most epic snowstorm right now. And this this is just one picture of billions. But bazillion uh, pictures out there, but they are getting hammered in Montana. Say, Sandra, I got a link to that site on my my site. It's called My Flood Risk, right here, right next to Windy. I had the Ventusky map, but I like Windy a lot better, so I took that off and we put that on there. So, a lot of good stuff. All right, so what else is going on? Anything else going on? Nothing really going on. I added a new uh, aviation map here. Um, Pilot fan sent me this link to add. It's on pilotbrief.com. It gives you cloud cloud heights with storms, which is very important data for pilots. So that link is now added to the site for you pilots out there. Cool. All right. What's um? What else is going on? That's about it. We're gonna watch the development maybe in the uh, Western Caribbean. Right now, there's nothing official from the NHC to worry about, so no worries, no stress. Just Lorenzo. That's always good. Um. Yeah. Peggy, a lot of people. Yeah, man, Montana, man. It's uh, you know, and look, looking, looking ahead. Uh, I don't see any break in this heat. Maybe October fourth, fifth, and sixth. Uh, we might get a cool front in the south, maybe. Let's take a look. Um, I click the same one every damn time. All right. Um, hey, Marcy, you re you read my mind. We we were connected. There's no rain either coming, Linda. Look at look at the rain map. No rain. I don't know when the rain's coming. Here's here's your five day rain map. Maybe South Florida. Maybe this is all that energy coming up from that tropical wave down in the south but look at this zero zippo not even a drop of rain for alabama in five days look at that crazy uh, but your temperatures let's take a look at that just for fun texas we, we never forget texas there's texas right there texas get the upper panhandle go raise yeah wednesday night where are you going to be wednesday night watching the rays i hope all right so let's look at the temperature map we're watching for greens. This is on Tropical Tidbits also. We're watching for greens and blues. Hot. Look at this. 90s. All, this is this is t this is today. We got 90s all the way up into Tennessee. Records were broken in Carolinas yesterday. We got 90s. Uh, 95 in South Carolina Wednesday. 95 in. Uh, so here here's our first 
possible cold front October 4th all right so here we go here's our green dipping south possible cold front coming 58 northern Mississippi 53 but look doesn't make it very far south still 70s 69 in Georgia so our next cold front maybe coming down uh, October 9th 49 middle Alabama there so maybe but still no 60s in Florida I don't see any 60s in Florida uh, Peninsula that is till October but hey there's, there's been plenty of Halloween's that we uh, we sweat down here so that's not uncommon really I still put a fire pit out I'm that crazy neighbor <laughs> All right, cool. All right, what's up, Taylor? Lexi, what's up, Lexi? New Bern, Hell's Porch, Sherry, Devil. <laughs> Anybody watch the Roval, Roval, Roval yesterday, the NASCAR race? That was pretty exciting. Um, Chase Elliott. He was uh, pretty exciting. Yeah, no more Karen jokes, Brian. <laughs> Took me half of Karen's life to even figure out what that meant. Here's a... Uh, one tropics map doesn't really mean anything except these are areas to watch this kind of blends all the ensembles together this is leftover Karen juice and here's our new little spot to watch so I bet you the NHC puts a circle out there at two o'clock let me draw one I'll draw one <clears throat> um, let's draw one and then we'll we'll see if I'm good at predicting so let me let me copy this real quick. This is my doing art class with with Mike. <laughs> All right, let's see. So if I was to draw a circle, let's draw a circle. Let's do this. This would be kind of I think it'll start right there too. So maybe like that. So there you go. There's your yellow. I can't really fill it. I could, yeah, I can texture it. Let's see. I could do a texture. I don't know if it lets me do a uh, checkered texture or whatever. <laughs> we could do like bubbles. <laughs> this is like an old program from like the 30s. Dusty's probably watching me laughing. Anyway, all right. So if we were to, if, if we were to um, draw a circle, I think this is what we'll get. At um, two o'clock, we'll see that little spot right there, and it'll be it'll be probably I would guess two day would be ten percent, five day thirty percent. There you go. <laughs> That's my joke. Hey, Dusty Kemp. Don't forget the X. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget the X. Okay, so I don't even know where they would put that one. But we can we can do the X like that. There's the X. The yellow X. It's actually going to be like right here. So I got I to get a good shaded program. <laughs> All right, enough of that. All right. I rambled on about nothing now for a good well not nothing we got we got folks that were I, I was surprised this morning when I posted to um, the amount of fans from Ireland that were tuning in that's just crazy to think that we have fans over in Ireland uh, watching so so again you know the Azores uh, 90 mile an hour hurricane very 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 close here on the western parts for sure Tuesday night going into Wednesday Ireland, it looks like it go go to your north a little bit, and then it might curve back down to your south. So definitely this Thursday, Friday, big waves. Unfortunately, huge waves. They're talking 60 to 100 foot waves currently forecast uh, in the Atlantic. Um, one map was 100 foot waves, 60, 70 foot waves. Um, crazy, 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 crazy. Um, and then, of course, all that makes its way up to the UK. And if we can look at the, I don't even know this map. Yeah, let's show it right here. Nope, too far out of range. i got to find a new one. Well, 50 foot now. This is the official wave map from uh, NHC. So, anyway, all right. 
So the next NHC, what's up, Stephanie? Heart of the season, girl. Um, yes, Kyle Lorenzo is slowly weakening. Forecast um, slowly die down. 105, 100, 100, 100, 190. So slow weakening in the forecast um, for that one. So, yep, so 11 o'clock will be the next advisory. But here's the tricky thing on the NHC only updates the five day maps at two o'clock and eight o'clock. So if we were to get a new update for yellow circles, it's gonna be two o'clock. Lorenzo update comes out at 11 o'clock. So we won't get a circle update until two o'clock. And Charles, you go surfing. Yep, go surfing. <laughs> All right, so there you go, that's about it. Here's the surface map. Tropical wave, we're watching entering West Caribbean tomorrow, Wednesday. Leftover Karen juice not looking like it's going to do anything. Some of that might just be this whole broad area of moisture. And then uh, Lorenzo. So, hey, Roger. Yeah, man, he is the man. They were um, ringing the bell. Dawsonville. Dawsonville Wild Bill. <laughs> uh, Cindy, yeah, there is a wave predicted to come across Africa maybe in 10 plus days. That's a long way away. So, Nothing to worry about. Um, hey, Vicky, yes, they did find three. I did see an update on um, Twitter, actually. Um, here's that graphic again on the 100-foot waves. This is a 100-foot-plus maximum wave height predicted for Lorenzo. Um, but they, they found three. Unfortunately, they did find one member deceased uh leaving nine or ten more i'm not sure exactly but they did find three if you missed it there was they did find three in um a life lifeboat and they're still looking so i was trying to find an update there is a website that they were um showing here real quick that I could share. There's a good Twitter page. Um, but anyway, I can't find it, of course. There's more snow pictures. Look at that, NBC Montana. Look at that. This is NBC Montana. Huge snow out there. That's a Brady Brewster page. More snow. High rip current in the Carolinas. No swimming in the Carolinas. Bless your surfers. And there's about it. There's no fire, burn ban, Mississippi burn ban, outdoor burning. They better not burn ban Talladega. I'll be violent. You got to have your campfires. There's some more wave. Look at this. Here's another wave map. You can't really zoom in on this one, but there's your wave map getting big as it goes north. Um,. And all that, whoops, got him. <laughs> Crazy. All right. <laughs> and then I zoom everything and it messes up. So, all right. Smoke, yep, snowstorm. Cool. Tragic. Yeah, Vicky, I'll try to find it. I shared a bunch over the weekend, but hey, at least they found uh, three. And that was a miracle that they were in their rescue boat. Um, so I'd hate, I, I, I couldn't imagine the stories that they have to tell being out in that hurricane. What they were doing in a hurricane that close is another question. Azores, you're just catching on, Miranda. I am. I am the hooked on phonic master now. It's the Azores. Uh, hey, Roger. Yes, we can. We can have a burn pit. Cool, man. If you work with the forestry department, I will give you whatever you want. Delay the the ban on forest fires until Monday after Talladega. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Yeah, eleven. Um, Tony, you got a story? Let me hear your story. Southern Alabama under no burnt ray. I love it. Yeah, Charles, that's a huge wave uh, prediction. Um, 50 foot now officially, 60 to 100 foot. Houston is looking um, dry. Cool fronts are not coming, Kyle. There's, a, there's maybe uh, upper... 
you know, middle U.S. Nothing makes it down to the south until maybe October 7th, 8th, 9th. Yeah, Telford, I better, I'm hoping, man. I'm hoping. What's going on, man? Cool. Um, you're my shutter, man. <laughs> cool. Appreciate it. All clear. But then again, it's not, not fun to have a fire pit when it's 85 degrees out either. But maybe at night. But we'll have our kissing booth. So we're hoping for some hot looking guys for my wife and hot looking girls and dogs. Maybe we'll have some dogs coming. <laughs> um, no fish storm carry. I, st I stopped using the word fish storm when I realized that there was actually people living in Bermuda. I used to call it fish storms years ago too and got kindly reminded, hey, we're people too. Uh, hey, Charles, I guess it is. You're right. <laughs> As I have a million windows open here. Um, no rain coming for a long time in the south. Storms up north right now currently. This is the current storm map going into Minnesota. So we got, you know, we got tornado threats up that way. Minnesota. North Dakota. Fargo. That's uh, that's what's cooking north. All right, so we got Louis time coming. Nothing else going on. Um, no, Zach, I'll try hard not to. All right, all right. So here's my boy Louis. He's getting ready for his kissing booth. There's our boy. I gotta show everybody. All right, so my buddy Joe Joe Frieda showed the uh, kissing booth. Let me let me let me bring it up real quick. I have to show you the pictures. And. Uh, Nah, they're not going to load very well here. Let's see. There's our map we're looking at, by the way. All right, let me see if I can pull it up. Here we go. That's a little better shot. There we go. All right, so here we go. There, There's our kissing booth. All right, my buddy Joe made it. There's Louie. So, Louie, look. There's your kissing booth, buddy. See it? That's it, That's it right there. <laughs> right. So we're going to have money being raised to hurricane support for animal rescues Louie's gonna be kissing all kinds of people that weekend right right Louie I can't do that because I'm married but we'll see how that goes I don't know we'll see if he likes it or not <laughs> I got these props here that people can wear I guess I could open them if I could open them here with a pen hang on Louie bear with me buddy all right let's see what kind of cool props we got since Alright, so so here's the idea. We're going to have these cool little Amazon props I bought. People can like do this kind of stuff. Like, should have, um, these are all hearts and stuff. Oh, there's a, there's a kiss thing here, like like this. So you, this is what you do, I guess. So like, here's Louie. Louie will be in the booth. And I'll do this. This is what I'll do. I'll, I'll hang, I'll do like this. See? See? Let me go like this. There we go. That's five bucks. <laughs> so we'll have some fun with that. We'll be drunk donkeys for sure. You want full screen of Louie? <laughs> no, he's a good man. And my nose is itching. All right, must be somebody's talking about me. All right, so here's Louie again. Getting ready for his kissing booth. What do you think, buddy? There you go. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> the most chill dog in the... Uh, Playing it. All right, cool. All right, so we'll watch this stuff. Again, if you're just tuning in, this is the possible area we're watching. This is the overnight European um, uh, ensembles showing possible um, development. Tropical depression development. This isn't hurricane development. It's just low pressure development. So nothing to worry about. Until the NHC says something, I would not stress at all. So, yeah, beads are a good idea. <laughs> I don't know, Brian. We've never done this. <laughs> we'll see. Yes, Kyle, they are huge. And even uh, the panhandle. Panhandle's still um, got a lot of people up there. Um, one year ago, Michael was uh, starting to, to show his face 
down around the Yucatan. Um, so there you go. All right. So, yeah, we'll be live all weekend from Talladega. I'm hoping NBC covers us and we're on TV. Right, Louie? We'll be on TV. There you go. And we did have coffee cups. People asked me to make coffee cups. There's my buddy Dusty made me. Uh, I need my Louie in the morning coffee cup. So if, if you're that crazy about Louie, which I am, right, buddy? He's my buddy. He hangs out with me all day when I work. <laughs> he chills. All right. Cool. All right. Well, we'll see about tomorrow and uh, probably be live. So we'll probably still have stuff in the tropics to talk about for sure. We'll be watching the Azores together. So, yeah, I'll be on tomorrow. So we'll do this again tomorrow, same time, same place. And uh, hope you guys have a great Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Wake up. I got my coffee here. Cold coffee. Ah, but I saved, I saved the best part of candy corn to last. So that'll be my treat for lasting an hour or so. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place.